Well, Monica, I came as soon as I could, but... Whoa, that answers my next question. Oh, it's been like this ever since Michael got here. I have run out of ideas on how to help him, and he is just... He's exhausted from crying. Well, now I feel bad about coming down on Carly so hard that first night she stayed at my place. You know, she lasted about five minutes before she called Jason to come over. Has he had any sleep at all? Oh, just off and on. It was so bad last night that Lila called Jason to come over. Oh, bless her heart. Yeah, well, he managed to calm him down, and he fell asleep, but... Woke up this morning, found out Jason wasn't here, and it starts all over again. That's when I called you. Well, I'm as concerned about our grandson as you are, but what do you think I can do about this? Truthfully, look, you've been around Michael more than any of us. I mean, maybe you can help. I wish I could, but I think he's interested in Jason, not in me, but hey, well, I'll do what I can. Tell me, I'm not imagining this. I mean, this, it's, Bobby, it's quiet. What did you do? Well, actually, I can't even take any credit. I just, I remembered how much Michael loved the park and being outdoors, and I asked Letitia to take a oh. walk. <laughs> By the way, where is his mother? I noticed that Carly is conveniently nowhere uh, within hearing distance of her son's cries. Yes, well, she, uh, she left before you got here. Apparently, she's taking some design course at PCU. Oh, boy. Sometimes I think I'm going to lose my mind, Bobby. Monica, is there more going on with you than just a lack of sleep? I just I feel like I'm being pulled in every single direction by my children. I mean, Michael should be with the person he thinks of as his father. And as much as I love AJ, I see that the bond between Jason and Michael is so strong. I mentioned that to AJ. He insists that I'm just against him, and the only one that's supporting him right now is Alan. Apparently, they've gotten a lot closer. But unfortunately, Alan is not living in this house. Well, maybe it would be better for everyone if Alan moved back home. Do you think he's ready to? And are you ready to have him back? I would like to have him come back home. But the problem is I am, uh, I'm still really angry about a lot of things that happened while he was addicted. I'm afraid if I uh, confront him with that, I would just drive him away, maybe even back to pills. So I think partly his recovery is due to the fact that he hasn't been living here in this insanity. Oh, Bobby, I don't want him to come back here if he isn't ready. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. Hey, you. Hi. You look wonderful. Well, I guess being totally conscious agrees with me. I hear things are going great. Well, I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't a struggle. I'm just trying to do one day at a time. That's all any of us can do. How's the book going? On hold. I got a paying job. I'm writing your mother's memoirs. You're kidding. Not that I... I don't think you can do the job. It's just that my mother's always been so private about everything in our family. Hmm. How did you get her to agree? I think that she decided that she wanted people to hear more positive things about your family and stop focusing on the negative. Well, obviously, there's not going to be a chapter on me. You should know that she speaks of you with love, great love, and she misses you. I got to go. I'll see you later. Okay. Good afternoon. Right back at you. Yeah. Hey. Your son wanted me to give you a message. Nothing wrong, I hope. I don't think so. Just said he was sorry he couldn't meet you. He had someplace to go. I'm sorry I missed him, too. He's going through a rough time now. Well, you could always go home and see him. I don't think so. Why is that? You don't think you're welcome there? No, on the contrary. Monica has been gently trying to persuade me to come home. I think she's trying to act like a buffer. Did you ever think maybe she misses you? I certainly miss her very much. And what's the problem? You know, I've been clean ever since I've been living by myself and immersing myself in my work. And I'm really scared to go home. I'm scared that if I go home, I'm, I'm going to slip. And I can't do that to my family. I can't do it to myself either. <laughs> 